Stand by for the world's welterweight championship fight between Johnny Saxton and Carmen Basilio. <laughs> The Wednesday night fights are on the air. It's 10 o'clock here in Syracuse, New York. Time for your fight of the week. Brought to you by two great names you see all across the nation. Paul Memorial Auditorium to see tonight's 15-round World Welterweight Championship contest. Matched by the International Boxing Club, James D. Norris, president, between champion Johnny Saxton of Brooklyn, New York, and challenger Carmen Basilio of Canastota, New York. Your reserve seats are ready. We'll be at ringside in 90 seconds. There you are. There's ringside. And here's your friend for the evening, Jack Dree. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, it's the big one from the War Memorial Auditorium in Syracuse, New York. For the welterweight championship of the world, the challenger from Canastota, New York, a suburb of Syracuse, Carmen Basilio. The champion... Johnny Saxton of New York City. When last these two met back in March on another Wednesday night fight, Johnny Saxton won a unanimous decision over Carmen Basilio and took the championship, but a difference of opinion and a hotly disputed decision has been the case ever since. And as the argument between fight fans has raged back and forth, it has finally come to a moment of settlement here at Syracuse tonight. Basilio Saxton for the Welterweight Championship of the World, and now we're gonna switch you up to the ring announcer, Dick Tobin. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the new lightweight champion of the world from New Orleans, Joey Brown. And here is the leading contender for the middleweight crown from Buffalo, New York, Joey Giambra. The new lightweight sensation who scored a knockout over Jimmy Carter last night in the eighth round from Marlboro, Connecticut, Larry Portman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is one of the top contenders for the Weatherweight Honors from Stanford, Connecticut, the colorful Chico Bija. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, here is the retired, undefeated, heavyweight champion of the world, the Braxton Blockbuster from Braxton, Massachusetts. Come on up, Rocky Marciano. with Rocky Marciano as the fight moves along when we catch a free moment between rounds. And I know you'll be anxious to hear from him. This welterweight championship bout is being presented for your pleasure by promoter Norm Rothschild of the Arena Boxing Club, Syracuse, New York. In conjunction with the International Boxing Club, James D. Norris, the president. And the officials have been assigned here tonight by the New York State Athletic Commission, our judges Frank Ford, Al Barnes. The timekeeper is Mike Dempsey. Counting for the knockdowns is Joe Palmer. And the referee is Al Burr. Feature event, 15 rounds. For the welterweight championship of the world. From New York City, wearing black trunks with white stripes, and weighing 145 and 3 quarters, the welterweight champion of the world, Johnny Saxton. Johnny Saxton. And his opponent is from Canastota, New York. He's wearing white trunks with black stripes. And he weighs 146 and one half. The former world away champion of the world. being the championship fight, the, eight, the automatic eight count and the three knockdown rule were eliminated in this bout. I want your pros to be very careful in your in-fighting. A low blow may cost you a round. 
I want you to shake hands now and come out boxing, boys. Good luck to both of you. If you're scoring tonight's fight in New York, the round system is used. The winner of a round gets credit for a round. The only points used in the, by New York officials are a supplementary set of points to minimize the chances of the fight ending in a draw. Carmen Basilio in the white trunks, Johnny Saxon in the black. Johnny Saxton in these opening moments has reversed the strategy of the fight in Chicago. He is staying in and crowding Carmen Basilio, staying very tight, not giving him any swinging room. In the Chicago fight, you recall, he kept backing steadily away and used Basilio's rushing tactics to jab and counter. But here in this first round, Saxton has completely reversed his strategy and is pressing Basilio throughout. Basilio twice now has taken long looks over in his corner to see if they have any hot hunches to pass along to him on handling the style change of Johnny Saxton. That was a good left hand that Saxton put on Basilio's job. That right hand looked better than it was. It was a glancing blow near the top of his head. That's a right hand shot in there that scored. One minute to go in the opening round of this 15 round World Wellaway Championship fight. a trickle of blood coming from the nose of Carmen Basilio. Basilio in that infighting has been able to get some pretty solid wallops into the midsection. Over the 15 round route, these could have telling effect. Ten seconds left in round number one. Ready now for round number two. Fifteen rounds for the World Away Championship of the World. Carmen Basilio will be coming out of the left-hand corner. Johnny Saxon in the black trunks out from the right. Saxton maintaining the pressing tactics, keeping the fight right on top of Carmen Basilio. Carmen is trying to clear the way for a right uppercut. He's gotten the punch away several times in this round, has not connected with it as yet.
Derek Carter Facilio has brought a shot from the crowd, but it glanced off Saxton's chest before it ticked him on the chin and was not an effective punch. One minute to go in the second round. seconds left round number two ten seconds in the second round the end of round number two. Let's follow Johnny Saxton, the Wallaway champion, back into his corner. Whitey Bimstein, the notice, noted fight trainer, is leaning over him from the left, halfway through the ring ropes. This is the second time that Johnny has held the Wallaway championship. He originally won it from Kid Gavilan and then lost it to Tony DeMarco, who lost it in turn to Carmen Basilio. Basilio, since Kid Gavilan, is the only welterweight champion to defend the title successfully. He beat uh, Tony DeMarco again after he won the title from him originally, beat him in a title defense, then lost to Johnny Saxton. The changes in the welterweight division have been many since Kid Gavilan, and it's uh, certainly a truism of this division of fighting that uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Saxton has had three fights since he last fought Basilio. Basilio has had none since last March. Round number three coming up. Basilio's nose, which bled slightly in the first round, has been giving him no more trouble. Basilio, coming up out of that crouch, got in some good licks there. Two minutes to go in round number three. Basilio with a good left hand shot to Saxton's head. Basilio is about four inches light in the reach department against Johnny Saxton, who is taller and lankier than Basilio. Saxton's reach is 71 inches. Basilio 67 inches. to go on the third round. Oh. 
Left hand to Basilios, caught Saxon alongside the ear, and it stung him. 30 seconds left in the third round. Saxton was hurt on that exchange and came flailing back, but was wild. 10 seconds left in the third round. Both fighters up on their feet, waiting for the bell. That'll send them into round number four. Carmen Basilio, the challenger in the white trunks. Johnny Saxton, the welterweight champion in the black. Fifteen rounds is the schedule. Johnny Saxton, who usually fights moving away from his opponent to force him in and jab and counter and which style of fighting he can do extremely effectively has dropped that style completely thus far in this fight and has been pressing in and keeping close to Carmen Basilio and Basilio in the last couple of rounds has begun to find this style of fighting to his liking One minute to go in the fourth round. Sexton now, uh, or at least for those few moments, beginning to use the jab that he can handle so expertly. Thirty seconds left in the fourth round. Silio <laughs> getting some beauties in there now. He's got Saxon in trouble. Ten seconds left in this fourth round. sounded nobody's heard it the referee hasn't heard it the crowd is such an uproar that no one heard the bell of those that should have in the ring well next Wednesday night we invite you there's round number five part of round number five and the fourth round just concluded Basilio got in his most effective punching of the fight Ed Saxon in trouble on the far side of the ring
Basilio shows a slight cut underneath his left eye. More of a scratch than a cut. shots that Basilio are, is getting to the body of Johnny Saxton are really landing. They can be heard very plainly when they come banging home and while his shots to the head are more spectacular, more readily seen, that right hand of the body is taking its toll of Johnny Saxton. Thirty seconds left in the fifth round. Sixth round, 15 rounds, the scheduled distance. Armin Basilio on the white trunks, Johnny Sexton in the black. Almost even weights, Basilio 146 and a quarter, Sexton 145 and three quarters, a half pound difference between them. Sexton may be in the process of going back to his old style which for Saxon is a much more effective style. He is jabbing now and not moving in to pressure Basilio. Saxton now has changed his style. He is jabbing, backing, and uh, waiting to counter. Johnny has never been at his best fighting the pressing type fight. And at least in the early moments of this round, uh, he has decided to go back at his most effective style. in that though it landed all right but Saxton had no trouble with the punch one minute to go in round number six that was Saxton with a good left hook countering as Basilio swung and missed Thirty seconds left in the sixth round. Ten seconds to go, round six. No question but what Basilia or, or Saxon has reverted now to the style that won him the championship in Chicago. Follow 
Carmen Basilio into his corner. Joe Nitro. Joe DeJohn, his co-managers outside the ring ropes. In front of him, Angelo Dundee, his trainer. Carmen Basilio, 29 years old, is a powerful puncher, and he credits his childhood to working with his family at their father's onion farm and the pretty grueling labor of taking care of and picking the onion plants for the strength and stamina he possesses. There's never any question about Carmen being able to go 10 rounds or 15 rounds or uh, about as many rounds as they want to put at him. He is a strong, determined fighter. He can take punishment terrifically, as you remember in our Wednesday night dates with Carmen Basilio and Tony DeMarco when they were having their series. We're coming now to round number seven. Saxon's midsection. It has slowed Saxton down, as you can see, by the ease with which Basilio landed that right on the jaw. And now the inside of Johnny Saxon's mouth is cut. Basilio now charging after Johnny Saxon, trying to get to him with the big one. Basilio's main power lies in his left hand. He's got two minutes left in round number seven. Saxton looks to be in trouble now. His lip and the inner portion of the lip has been split by Carmen Basilio. Johnny Saxton. Saxton now suffering from a very bad ripped lip. One minute to go in round number seven. seconds left in the seventh round. Referee Al Burrow takes a long look at that damaged mouth of Johnny Saxton's. It's a bad cut. And Basilio smacks on it again. Ten seconds left, round number seven. coming up now where you would ordinarily hear a message from the Menon Company, but we want to stay right here and see uh, if there are any developments on the big split in the lip of Johnny Saxton. Whitey Bimstein over in his corner is working over it now, but the lip seems to be ripped. Referee Alboro has not, however, called for the doctor, and Whitey Bimstein is working very hard trying to uh, stem that cut. Now the referee comes over to take a look at it. the stinging that's taking place as they attempt to cauterize that cut in the corner and uh, Johnny pulls his head away sharply Whitey Bimstein uh, 
very fine cut man has stopped the flow of blood at least for the moment. In round number eight, scheduled 15 rounder. Two minutes to go in it. now trying to find the target that can end it. There is no question but what Basilio's body attack and the severe split on the lip of Johnny Saxton has put the Wallaway champion in considerable trouble. One minute to go in round number eight. Thirty seconds left in the eighth round. The crowd is booing Saxton for keeping away from Basilio, but I certainly don't blame him. Ten seconds left in the eighth round. He wants to try and keep out of range of that very effective Basilio hook. This is banging home on his damaged mouth. Number nine coming up. Again, that hook in over the heart is a hurting punch to the body of Johnny Saxon. Saxton, the Wallaway champion in the black truck, hurt and ineffective. And that right hand by Carmen Basilio almost dropped him. Saxton staggered, caught himself. Basilio now trying to put home the clincher. Drives another right hand to the jaw. And Saxton staggers right above us. And the fight is stopped. Referee Al Burrow dives through there as an almost helpless Johnny Saxton. An almost helpless Johnny Saxton was about to go crashing to the canvas. We'll have the official time in just a moment.
people watching you tonight. This uh, must be a gratifying victory. This is the biggest thrill of my life, winning the back, Jack. You look like you yeah. broke into tears in the yes, center I of the ring. I couldn't help it. An emotional yeah. thing. Thank you. Were you as surprised as we were that... I knew uh, I was going to lick him from the beginning. I didn't you know if I was knocked out. style changed, Carmen, that's coming after I you as much as I changed my style. Did. I figured he'd come that way. Carmen, you're too excited for much yeah. conversation. Yeah, so right. take the bows. You've got them Thank coming. You. Carmen Vasilio, new welterweight champion of the world. I've got another champion I want to talk to. Rocky, come on up here, will you? Rocky Marciano, undefeated, retired heavyweight champion of the world. A very quiet guy in the ring, but he's got a lot to say now that you've turned off there, Rocky. Yes, I have, Jack. In the Saturday evening post, I got together with some good writers and told everything about my life as a heavyweight champ, how I lived it, uh, the great moments, the troubles I had, just everything. I know that uh, uh, you'll probably be interested in it because it is a little different. The Saturday Evening Post now on the stands. Did this fight tonight give you any urges to uh, get back in the ring, Rocky? I enjoyed the fight very much. In fact, uh, I was bobbing and weaving with the boys. I really enjoyed it very much. It was a great fight. It was an exciting fight, but you haven't answered my question. Are you through for good? Jack, you'll have to read that in the Saturday Evening Post <laughs> on okay. sale right now. Thanks, Rocky. Rocky Marciano. Well, that about wraps things up. Our thanks to WAGN-TV for their fine work on the pickup of tonight's fight. This is Jack Reese speaking, and I'll be back in a moment with news of next week's fight.